Hi everyone, uh, Jill here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about junk journaling a little bit. Um, I went through the 30 days of junk journal July and uh, learned a lot through that process. And I do this kind of uh, journaling in my journal that I don't really share. So um, I thought it would be fun to walk you through this project and I've had some questions about how I pulled together like some of the pages which are really simple and easy for the most part so um, I thought I would um, just show you if uh, do a flip through and then show you a, a few things about the last page that I created um, okay so the first thing I want to say is I'm using this really beautiful uh, mixed book mixed paper book made by Quill and Arrow, um, handmade, um, really beautiful. And, and it was so exciting to, I mean, a great deal of my inspiration for the project came from the journal. So um, I've heard other art journalers say that too, to find a journal that really inspires you is, is a great start. Okay. This is my first page. I'm not going to remember the prompts for each of these really. Um, uh, but this one, I think this one was welcome. And so I used this stamp that emphasizes the biblical quotation from Hebrews, be not forgetful to entertain strangers for some thereby have entertained angels unaware. Um, so that's the focus, a way of uh, interpreting that idea of welcoming, welcoming strangers. Um, some of the first entries in my journal were inspired by a class on creative bug. So um, it's a class taught by E. Bond uh, called uh, Words Inform Images. And so you'll see uh, this, for instance, was she beautiful or not beautiful, is the first sentence of Daniel Deronda, a 19th century novel by George Eliot. And um, it's fun, I think to think about quotations and words and playing with words and playing with letter forms. Um, I also used a quotation from a Virginia, Virginia Woolf novel and just typed it in different fonts and then covered this page with that. Um, I must say I love these Vicki Booten uh, butterflies because they have all these like layers and all this dimension. And um, even if it gets flattened when I close the book, it pops up again. Um, some stamps here from Prima. This is continuing, the journaling here has to do with this idea of combining words uh, from that creative bug class I was talking about. The prompt here was botanical, as you can see from what I stamped and from all the flowers. You can see the mixed paper coming into play here with this really cool textured tan paper. And I love to like stitch, uh, stitch along the edge, use a little bit of washi. Um, this kind of also picks up on the imagery and the combining of words, and I just used photographs to do that. And I sewed a little bit um, of fabric along the edge, just a great way to add texture, very simply. Um, same thing here. Here I think we were working with kind of the idea of uh, book paper or vintage imagery, um, and I loved this little, uh, this little boy making a pencil rack. Um, a lot of these things are, are mainly going to appeal to me, um, but at any rate, you can find what, you know, what makes you happy. Um, this page uh, is just a really cool, I suddenly come to this really cool blue, thin, smooth paper. And this is for the day where the prompt was minimal, so there, or minimalism. So there's very little here, just a little bit of texture paste, washi stitched along the edge again, a little bit of paint on book paper, sequin, love sequins. Um, okay, uh, this page, I'm not sure if the, I don't think that, I can't remember if the prompt was envelope, but I did include a little vellum envelope, um, which is quite delicate and beautiful on the page, so that was fun. Um, uh, here we have a wanderlust theme, so I used travel washies and um, stamps, uh, postage stamps, map paper, um, it's another very simple page. This one was made up of um, packaging, packaging leftovers, albeit like really beautiful packaging from some rubber stamps. Um, I've been loving using these vintage labels in this kind of project. 
Um, some more really textured, interesting paper that I used, st I stamped on that and on the paper I added. And then um, this was the prompt here I know was like favorite products. So I used a lot of washi. I love postage stamps like faux postage. I also love actual stamps. And this is one of my favorites, this library, um, library pocket stamp, um, library date stamp from Tim Holtz. Here I just did flower imagery in photographs and other forms. Um, this was like lots of fun. This came from the e-bond class and it was like using your handwriting in all different forms to and then making it into essentially a kind of patterned paper where you don't necessarily even see the words anymore. Though I wanted the glorious morning to show the prompt was morning and I was reading Hamnet, a novel about Shakespeare and it made me think of one of Shakespeare's sonnets. So that was my focus for this. The background is just watercolored. And that's the end of the first signature. And I left this page um, of pattern pa uh, paper with the squares just plain and started a new signature. And uh, with that, I just did a focus on one color. And as you can see, it's green. I even found a green butterfly. Um, this page was lots of fun. I love spray ink and a kind of grungy look. And um, so um, I used a, a bunch of different sprays and some old book paper and this Tim Holtz um, metal piece that I think is really vintage looking. Here it, the, the prompt was border and so I used some border stamps. I put a little bit of glossy um, embossing uh, along the edge of one of them to create a border. And then I actually punched a border, which got me so interested in my border punches. I mean, I'm really like bringing those back into play again in my uh, crafting. And then since there's a matte paper, which has, you know, that kind of border, I wanted that to peek through. Quotation, of course mine had to do, uh, to do with journaling. And uh, some of my favorite hot pink paint, little bits on this page. Um, happy mail. So I found an envelope that said joy. I can find anything in my stash. Um, and I like the, ba the background of the map paper. Again, this mixed paper book is like so inspiring because it's like you work with whatever pops up. Um, here's my favorite kind of thing. I'm gonna talk a little bit about this on the last page that I, when I talk, walk you through that. It's just an edge collage essentially, like working along the edge and collaging a bunch of things you like. Enjoy the season of chill. I can't for the life of me really remember what that prompt was, but it was fun to do. I also love this like velvet ribbon that I've just been stapling in here and there. Just watercolor stamping. Um, this has a lot of texture. I mixed a little bit of Kitsch Flamingo, that color of Tim Holtz um, uh, paint into some embossing powder and uh, made a really cool color. And um, yeah, lots of lots of texture and a little bit of uh, uh, sparkle there. This, this prompt was uh, sparkle or shine and I used uh, the Prima um, Steampunk uh, metallic flakes, I guess they're called. And uh, I love the imperfection. If you do it with stamps, uh, it, 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 it just gives you like a really distressed effect. Um, this actually changed because of the, the red from the other side bled through. Good thing the flower's red, so it kind of coordinates, right? So there's a certain amount of unintentional messy there. And then this was a, a favorite on Instagram, I think because in part because the flower stamps are so cool, but also because watercolor is, steals the show. I just put watercolor on some paper and then uh, stitched it into the journal. Um, Heidi Swap. Uh, letter stamps that are awesome. They look so good for art journaling, just a natural combo. And now I'm moving into some music paper. Um, I really like this page personally. Um, I can't remember if the prompt was stencil, but I did enjoy using the stencils in the background and then using just the simple X stencil with uh, more of that leftover paste I made. Mm, a little bit of washi tape with some cool imagery. This was Grow and I've been enjoying butterflies in all forms, and these are some uh, from Illustrated Faith, I think. Use that alpha again. Okay, and then that brought me up to this page, which was doodle. So I doodled here and colored in with colored pencil, and then included a couple of rub-ons that were doodle-like um, that seemed to, to me to fit the theme. Okay, and then this is my most recent page. 
Um, and I wanted to talk a little bit, you know, talk through what I did here um, because it was so simple and I remember the steps um, and anyone can do it. So um, I used a stamp, uh, two stamps actually, which were wildflower stamps. And I believe these are from, or I know they're from Illustrated Faith, but there are similar flower stamps out there. Um, and then after the ink dried, I just went in with colored pencil, just lightly, easily, loosely, no fancy coloring. Um, and colored those. And then um, I wanted book paper, so I put some book paper down here and there, just collage, collaged it down. Um, and then I didn't want like really sharp edges, even though I'd ripped the paper, there were still some edges. So the best way to treat that is with uh, tissue paper, or a deli paper, and this is a collage paper that's a tissue paper. And so I included a couple, um, couple uh, scraps of that. I happened to have a little scrap of matte paper that matched this color. It was all serendipitous. I, I didn't um, plan that, but as you see, there's a map. There's a map coming up and I had torn part of it already. So I was tearing a little bit off to make it even. And then that was sitting on my desk. And I thought, yeah, you guys match. That's good, I'll, I'll put that down. Um, I've also, as I said, been really interested in edge punches and sometimes they, they stick and you have like little weird scraps. That's all this is. This is paper I did on my uh, uh, gel plate that was just something I grabbed to try out, the, um, try out the punch. And then just cutting, hand cutting a few little circles for confetti using a little bit of um, ink to splatter on the page. And then the finishing touch is uh, still climbing heavenward. I live beneath the open sky, fair light of day. You can clip these from a book. These actually happen to be stickers from a sticker book of uh, phrases. And uh, so that's the walkthrough. And that hopefully maybe um, inspires you because I've been so inspired. I was like really um, enjoying seeing what everyone was doing with Junk Journal July. And uh, so that's where I am so far. I can't wait to keep working in this book. Uh, thanks for stopping by.